Let's talk about David Crosby. I had no idea that um, David Crosby was sick. I mean, I knew he had some health issues, but uh, we're about 10 days away from the release of the new David Crosby documentary called Remember My Name. I'm really excited about this. We talked about this a while ago. Cameron Crowe is the man behind it, and he's a phenomenal filmmaker and, and even better. I mean, I go back and forth on Cameron Crowe and Scorsese, the way they use music and film and their obsession and love for music and film. I mean, they're both so damn great at it. They may be the two best as far as directors go. But um, the trailers come out. We're 10 days away, and there was just a story in the Wall Street Journal about uh, David Crosby's health, and he's, I guess, not doing all that well. Um, but I'm going to play you some of the trailer here and you'll sort of get a sense of where they're at. And it's always a tough thing. We've talked about this on the morning show with Anthony a whole bunch before, you know, when it came to leave on helm, when it came to Johnny cash, uh, I feel like most recently it was David Bowie, you know, artists get into this super interesting place when they know they're at their end and they're still producing and recording and making music. Um, like some of Levon's last couple of records were so amazing. Johnny Cash's American Recordings, just off the charts, wonderful. Uh, Bowie's last album, knowing it was going to be his last album, is super, super good. You know, it's a weird thing to talk about death. It makes me uncomfortable a little bit. I don't know if anybody who doesn't make uncomfortable, but... Um, there's almost like a little bit of a comfort in listening to some of that material. You know what I mean? So um, I think it looks like David Crosby is in that sort of state of mind. So I'm going to, I want you guys to listen to parts of the trailer here and you're going to hear, you know, about his health and really what I get from this. And I, and I've seen him do other interviews. David Crosby is, I feel like this is his like apology for being such a jerk. For so long. Uh, and there are some really telling moments in this. You'll hear from Cameron Crowe. You'll hear a little snippet of Cameron Crowe and David Crosby. You know, they'll talk at the beginning and then they'll play a little snippet of their first interview that was ever done back in 1974. Um, you'll hear from Graham Nash. You'll hear from David Crosby's wife. Uh, it's very, very telling, even from a trailer perspective. It's called David Crosby, Remember My Name. And it starts. Uh, With an unbelievably, you know, they hop right in with this question from Cameron Crowe to David Crosby. Do you ever wonder why you are still alive? I don't know. No idea, man. I'm 76 years old. I've had three heart attacks. I've got eight stents in my heart. I don't think people know how sick he really is. The last few years, I made four solo albums. I'm going for five. If I had ever been in. So he's made four solo albums and now he's he's, you know, working on his fifth. I mean, when you just hear that urgency, don't you just hear somebody that knows they're coming towards the end? Big ego, no brains. I don't think I was a good lover. I think I was selfish. If I had ever been it before. I have fallen in love with Christine. All of a sudden she didn't come home. There's just this emptiness. This gone. You know, it's like a rip in the fabric. A friend of mine gave me a shot of heroin. Feels great. Only the first time. After that, you're just trying to catch it. And you never get back there. Ever. That's the house our house was written about, right there. That's where Crosby, Stills, and Nash sang our first song together. He became a fugitive from the law. I got a ride to the local FBI agency. He said, you're looking for me. My name's David Crosby. This is the first interview that we ever did. My father says if money, glory, fame, chicks, none of it counts. The only thing counts is whether you got any friends. What happened to your friends? All the guys that I made music with won't even talk to me. All of them. You say stuff and do stuff that's just awful. Me more than anybody else. It's just sad, and I don't quite know how to undo it, you know. I'm touring because I love to sing. Green eyes. The hardest part is just leaving home. I don't like to leave home. I love, I love him here. I have to say, go, honey, have fun, and I might not ever see him again. 
If I were to say, no music, but you get extreme joy in your home life, do you make that trade? No music? No, I'm not interested. It's the only thing I got to offer, really. We shall be free. This is really where I kind of tugs at your heartstrings, right? That idea of his wife going, I have to say goodbye to him, not knowing if I'll ever see him again. I, re I, I really didn't know that he was that ill. Um, but all the heart attacks, the stents that he mentions, you know, obviously we know his record with drug use and things. But boy, uh, to hear that little clip back in 74 of him and Cameron Crowe talking about what David Crosby's father said to him, that the money, the music, the women, that it doesn't matter. What matters is your friends. And then to have that followed up with the statement of, Nobody I made music with will talk to me anymore. Nobody. That is sad. That is super sad. I wonder if the rest of the band, like I want, like if you're Neil Young, do you watch this? If you're Graham Nash, do you, you know, if Steve, like, do you pick it up? I mean, I would imagine how it'd be hard not to, right? Um, I wonder if this is maybe the thing that sets it back on track. I mean, it's a shame we all, you know, I don't even know where Woodstock is anymore at this point, Woodstock 50, but we all wanted that, right? That was sort of the, the, big, the big thing on everybody's wish list was to have a CSNY reunion. That would be the perfect place for it. Um, it's interesting because there's so much greatness and joy and unbelievable art and music that came from David Crosby and Crosby Stills, Nash and Young, but it feels like a tragic story at the end of the day to a degree, doesn't it? David Crosby, Remember My Name in theaters on July 19th. 